So AMD's Navi 22 or Navy Flounder GPU has been spotted in the latest ROCM 3.8 update, revealing the specifications of the chip that would go on to power the Radeon RX 6800 or the RX 6700 series graphics cards. The Navy Flounder GPU isn't a new name and has been known for some time since around the same time we got to hear about the Sienna Cichlid. As per the leaks, AMD's Navi 21 GPU, which is also referred to as AMD's Big Navi GPU, goes by that Sienna Cichlid codename, whereas the Navi 22 GPU is a cut-down GPU which is internally codenamed Navy Flounder. As per the details spotted by Reddit user Stibler, Stilber? Hmm. Come to us via video cards and to Mapasac, it looks like we now know what the Navi 22 GPU has to offer in terms of specifications. As per these details, AMD's Navi Flounder or Navi 22 GPU is expected to feature 40 compute units. If AMD keeps the same stream processor count as the R on the RDNA 2 generation of GPUs as they did with RDNA 1 lineup, which is a 64 stream processor per CU, we get 2,560 cores in total for the Navi 22 GPU. This would get us the same core count as the Radeon RX 5700 XT. Now, in addition to the core count, the GPU suggested would feature a 192-bit bus interface, which is something we've heard before on multiple occasions in the last few weeks. As per the rumor mill, the Navi 21 GPUs, or the Radeon RX 6900 series, is expected to feature a 256-bit bus interface with up to 16 gigs of GDDR6 memory, while the Navi 22 GPU, which could be the Radeon RX 6800 or 6700 series, is expected to feature a 192-bit bus with up to 12 gigabytes of VRAM. There are interesting things to consider with the listing patch as it mentions Navy Flounder GPUs, so we can expect several SKUs of that said Navi 22 GPU, not just one in particular configuration, which is a common practice for GPU manufacturers. The chip falls in the GFX103 architecture generation that is commonly referred to as the GFX103X series for our DNA 2 chips. The Navi 21 GPU is based on the GFX1030, while the Navi 23 GPU is based on the 1032 graphics architecture. So one can assume that the Navi 22 GPU will be based on the GFX1031 graphics architecture. Now some major design changes from the Navi 22 Navi Flounder GPU are also reported compared to the Navi 21 Sienna Cicla GPU. The use of VCN 3.0 or Video Core Next, DCN 3.0, which is the Display Core Next, reaffirmed that this is in fact our DNA 2 GPU, but there is supporting evidence that Navi 22 is a lower tier chip compared to Navi 21. For starters, the Navi 22 GPU only fe features one instance of the VC3 versus two on the Navi 21. Also, the SDMA controllers have dropped to two compared to the four on the Navi 21 GPU. Now, AMD will officially be unveiling the Radeon RX 6000 series graphics cards family on October 28th. So hang tight for confirmation and official details on these upcoming cards. For more on this and other news, follow the link in the description and make sure you're subscribed and hit the notification bell so that we don't miss you in the next one.